guys what's up it's me again so i'm here to show you a well requested it's um permissions x which is gonna let you set up commands for players in your in your in your server and obviously we're gonna make it super easy for all of us because this is the point of this series to make every minecraft stuff easy so if you haven't seen my other um, my other plugin tutorials and it's how to build a server super easy you should totally check them out there and um they're in the link down below so what you want to do is you want to open your plugins folder and you're going to drag i already have it here but you're going to download from here the permissions x i'm going to put the link in the description you're going to download it and you're going to drop it in your, fo in your folder when you drop it in your folder it's going to it's going to look like this so you're going to run your server go to your bucket gui you're going to run your server and it's going to give you a folder you're going to stop your fo you're going to stop your server and it's going to give you a folder so the folder is going to contain config file which i suggest you don't mess with and then there's a permissions file it's not going to look like this and i'll tell you why you're going to go to the second link in the description and you're going to copy and paste all this so you basically when you you can either copy and paste from here. you want to copy and paste all the way down copy your permissions Sorry, I mean, you have to go down here, the raw paste data. So you copy this, copy, then you paste it here. There we go. So it's going to look something like this, and it's going to have your group default. And if you want, this default is going to be the first group and everybody falls in when they log into your server. So you can make them like, instead of saying member and brackets, it could be like, I don't know, it could be like France or whatever. So here you write the name and you can look up the codes on Google, how to do the coding thing, because you can code like the underline or whatever color you want the member thing to say. So then you have your permissions and then here's where you're gonna add them. So if you have a bouncy block or you don't, you just delete them and that's a your server. So if you don't want anyone new, right, to, to actually be able to warp anywhere you can just delete that like that that's it they don't have that power so it's very easy to add and and take away powers from players because you can basically so here it says it has a super admin and then it has a co-owner and an owner unless you like that and if you don't like it i suggest you go from the here go up you delete all this so then you just have you just have admins and the owner. So the admin, it says that they can do vanish. And let's say you don't like them to set the spawn, right? Because you are the only one that wants to set the spawn in the real spawn. So you get, take away that permission. So that's very easy to add. You basically just look up any any plugin you might have, like um, world edit. So you go to their bucket and there's going to be around here. It's going to say, um, where is it? There should be a permissions. World edit permission. World edit permission. So you just look up the permissions and it's going to say set biome, whatever. And this is how. So if you want to give your admins the I don't know, let's say you have world edit and you want to give your admins the power to create a sphere in the world edit. You just copy this, right? You go here, so you go scroll down to your admins right here. You click this, you do the little minus space, the dash, and then you paste that. So now your admins can do slash slash sphere, each sphere. So that's very easy. You just basically look up whatever plugin you have. You look up their permissions and whatever is this dot something dot something. That's the permission you actually put in here. Remember this space right here and remember this little dash here. So it's very easy. Um, here permissions. You see how there's like a this the little star. That means that you as the owner get every single command 
I mean, every, every single permission you might get from any plugin that you have in your server. So basically, if you give this to someone, they are going to be able to do whatever they want. So you can do, you can do set spawn because the admins can't. And if it's essential like this, you're going to give them all the essentials. So just be careful with the little stars because obviously you're not going to need like vanish or mods, mod disguise because you don't have those plugins. So you can just take them off or bounce here. This is just an example. It's just the essentials and the bucket for now because I have only covered those videos. But if you have more plugins, just add them like world edit. You can just add them in here. It's super simple. Obviously, change change the you can even delete this plugin master actually. Um, you can obviously change like the name. So let's say if I go here and I put like friends. So then you're gonna want to save that. Then you're gonna have to go to you're gonna restart your server. This is going to be loading. Alright, so I'm going to go log into my Minecraft and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot that we have the, we have moved on from 1.9.2 to 1.9.4. So I'm downloading the new jar to run my server because it says here, Spigot 1.9.2. So all I got to do is change it how I showed you the the first in the first video. I didn't actually finish updating. But it will be the same thing for 1.4. So basically once you join, um, you're gonna see that it worked because if I type hello, it's gonna say um, friends right here. Even on the console, it tells you friends because I'm friends. So the way to promote yourself is you make yourself OP right here. So you type slash OP. So that means I'm up, and then the way you do that is promote. Um, yeah, if you don't know how to read, or Promote. Sorry, you don't have enough. So you're just gonna do it here. Console it's just you slash promote. Give do it again because it says I've been I've, has been promoted to the admin group. Do so you do that promote? And now I'm in the owner's group, so if I should, if I type, I should say owner, hello, owner. So yeah, now I'm owner, and I have all the permissions in the world. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. If you want to know how to, how to add another group, so I suggest you just start with the default. Or the lowest one I give you, the one before. So let's say if if I was making because this one's um this one is default. So if I want to make like instead of a movie, instead of friends, I'm gonna call it. So if you want to be more than if you want to be a member. You have to do certain things. So this is the one under it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy here. Go down to the first copy. So now you have two default groups. Yeah. So this one here. This one actually. There. So you want to change the name, you want to call it like um, member, then the same here. You might want to change like the coloring, I don't know, I'm just going to throw it to like four or something. I'll take gold, I think. 
and then basically you just add new commands so like if you don't want the people who just joined your server to be doing slash home or slash set home and they have to become a member for that so you just delete them on the on the default and then when they become members they're gonna have that's basically and you just keep adding stuff it's pretty simple always forget to save it i mean always remember to save wow and that should be it thank you for watching